Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing for the Space Marines Pre Primaris Reavers. Okay guys, well, I've got my trusty little cut um, openers here just for the box because I don't want to do any damage, that's why I've not actually got the uh, box cutter or anything like that because I might damage the box. Also, at the end of the video I might do a little talk about them as well from the because I've got the Space Marine Codex as well. Okay, so I need to no, I don't need to do anything else. Let's just actually before I open it up, let's have a quick look at the front box art. I just say I'm quite impressed by actually whoever does the paint job does a really good paint job. I don't mind the look of that. Um I don't, I'm assuming that's the sergeant. It kind of looks cool. And so let's have a look behind. There's some sort of bits it tells you you can use some of the Space Wolves, um, Raven Guard, and Salamanders. Well, actually, they could be used by anyone, actually. So, oh, straight away, one of the things I love that Games Watch puts inside these things is how to build them. Let's open up. Oh, there's a lot more in here. Okay, there's also a paint. tells you which paints you can buy to actually paint them as well. There's a transverse. Obviously stands. We'll take a look at the actual uh, sprues in a second. Now let's just have a quick look in the inside here. So it tells you basics on how to build them. There are options, different sort of options. Actually, it might have all how to build all ten. There's a little stat sheet at the back there as well, which. Uh, Surprises me. At the same time, doesn't because I've actually been doing this quite a lot recently. So I'm, um, I'm not sure if this is for different languages. Yeah. So that's the English, and then there's the other languages there as well. Again, the nice little guide at the back on how to paint them. Okay. So this here. Let's get my hand behind so hopefully it focuses. Well, this is obviously like sort of body parts. I don't see any weapons there, so yeah, so some armor, some leg sort of bits, normal, the normal backpacks. You got to remember, I think, believe this is the Mark 10 armor. There's some little uh, the knife sheaths because I think they have most of the weapons in their hands. Here are the different heads. You know, is, I do really wish I can paint sometimes because something like this, if painted well, could look really good. Okay, so let's pick up the next brew. And this one has more sort of weapons on it, so let's put my hands here. So there's the uh, their knives. Let me focus. Okay, come on, focus. I have to zoom in. Oh, I'm gonna have to zoom in. I think just to get to focus. And come back out. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's a different place. There's the I believe the heavy bolt pistols. There's one of the grappling hooks shooting. There's a sort of another grappling hook or weapon there. I believe these are the auto bolters, I'm not too sure, or your normal bolt. Pistols or grappling hook uh, attachments by the looks of it. Some of the arms. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I believe these are a piece of equipment. I don't know what, what they are yet, so I'll find out in a second. Okay, so then we've got a second sprue, which is exactly the same as the first, and then you've got another sprue. It's very similar to the one I showed you with all the weapons and stuff like that one. Okay, as I said, I'm going to have a little talk. you got to realise I've not played yet, guys, so I am looking forward to playing. Okay, so you've got the bolter carbines, which what they can use. They also can use heavy bolter pistols. They have combat knives. They, ha uh, they can also use um, frag grenades and crack grenades and shock grenades. This weapon does not inflict any damage if any enemy infantry 
unit is hit by the shot grenades, it is stunned until the end of the turn. It cannot fire Overwatch. Your opponent must subtract one from any hits to roll. Mm. That's kind of cool. They all, they all have two wounds as well. That's kind of really cool. Uh, they have some grappling launchers. They're a combat squad, so... Uh, before any models are deployed, at the start of a turn, a Reaver Squadron combined, uh, combined of 10 units may be split into uh, fives. Okay, Terror Troops. Okay, so they, if they're within range of the enemy, the enemy is uh, three, they suffer minus one. And the Grav Clitters? Clitters? Deployment, you can set up this unit if they are equipped with Grav Char Utters. In high orbit, instead of placing them on the battlefield, at the end of your movement phase, you can place them. They, uh, the unit, place this unit descending. It can set up anyone on the battlefield within nine inches away from the enemy unit. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, so all that, guys. That's only a quick little thing. I don't want to do too much, otherwise I might get myself into trouble. As I said, the little booklet has stuff in it anyway, so, you know, sort of, sort of there. Okay, guys, well, that's your Reavers. So, yeah. Also, guys, I'm about to do another video for the uh, Aggressors. I got them today as well. So, yeah, I'll hopefully see you in a few minutes. And goodbye.